Okay, so we've got a Volkswagen um, camper van in today, um, and basically it's got a water leak, so we're going to show you what the customer's shown us so far. And we're just going to take a little walk round. We've got a little bit of a bird map mark on the front now. Um, it's got the canopy which comes out on the passenger side. Um, other than that, it looks okay. We've got a bit of a bird mark down the back there. Uh, the customer's just taking his bike off because he needs to show us inside the tailgate. Um, so just while the customer's taking his bike off, obviously we'll just quickly do the starting video. Um, also, it's got the roof which obviously lifts up on the top there. Um, the customer has explained to us that on the this rubber here it has been replaced um, but it seems to be getting maybe overloaded with the water and what it's doing is it's coming down the actual door itself and then what it's doing is it's filling up this little section here um, so obviously we would have to investigate this uh, customer has mentioned that he's previously had this sprayed at some point um, and the person who sprayed it did actually say that the inside of this this box here on the front um, it seems to be full up with water so that's something we're gonna have to check on that one now and uh, I take it you obviously you haven't noticed any water as, as I say inside the cabins at all. No, all we get no. is the door So that's all good. That, yeah. No, that's okay, that's not a problem. No, that's okay. It's, it's, it's all, all normal. I was just explaining that it's got the one on the side which comes out and we've got the expended roof coming up. I've told about the front, obviously, the front door bit. So it's just the back um, tailgate to do and then that's it. We're all sorted. A few minutes later. Right, okay. So the customer's just going to show us inside the tailgate. Uh, oh, there we go. So uh, it basically comes in here and drips in here. So that drips straight down there, yeah? Yep. that's a little bit damp. So okay, like not a problem. So it looks like it's maybe to do with seal works on this one here. Um, you can see that obviously there's there's a bit of a darkness yeah. in the rubber yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and it falls directly here where yeah, the customers put it, the yeah, towel. Yeah. No problem. So what I can do is I can end that video there. Have you in the, I don't know what sort of equipment you have and you're what you're checking. Yep. About three years ago, it used to drip down here. But it hasn't done for, for a long time. For a long time. Okay. Um, because I, well, uh, my bodywork guy said there might be just like a pinhole prick. So when they roof was fitted onto it, because it's a factory van, yeah, they cut the roof out and then they glue the thing on top. Oh, um, right, okay. So I did find a little kind of hole where I sucked some ceiling over, and it hasn't done since. But but I don't know what sort of tools you have with you. Whether or not, yeah. Uh, okay. Called, um, what would reveal yeah, it like, sort of thing? Do, like uh, ultrasound. Stuff, uh, think, we yeah. do ultrasound. Yeah, we so, do smoke. So, yeah, we do yeah, everything. So it, it works in if you want to just check. Yeah. That's all away. But unfortunately, again, because it's all because it's all know, boarded it, away. It's, it's one exactly of them ones. Like yeah. A car with all the seals and grommets and you go, that's it. The camera down here. So do we can. If no, we, that's right. right. I mean, it hasn't leaked for, for a couple of years now. Yeah, but obviously, well, you might just check it's stuff and go to I say if, if when it's in, we put the roof up. Yeah. You can see a lot more. So like where the where that's the, it, how dodgy areas might be. No, that's right. We can check everything there. I mean, ninety percent of the time, a lot of the time if you're finding water leaks the main thing that actually finds water leaks believe it or not is water because yeah. that's what causes the leak yeah, exactly. um you can pull out all the ultrasound and the smokes and that but nine times out of ten you normally find everything okay. using water before yeah. you then find them and um, we only tend to normally find that when we need to use smoke is when there's a, someone's drilled a hole on the bulkhead and it's behind the engine yeah, exactly. so you're like you don't want to take the engine out so you use <laughs> the smoke machine yeah so but i mean that's not a problem we can check all of that out okay. so we have a Volkswagen Transporter in today, 2009. Uh, so we're just gonna show you what we've found so far. So I've got our hose up high on our ladder here, just replicating this out in the rain. If we quickly step inside the back of the van, um, and we have a little look over here, so we can see that the rear tailgate is leaking very heavy um, on both sides, and it's dripping down to where the customer said it would be. Um, so let's quickly turn that hose off and show you what's happening. Uh, so give me two seconds just to quickly turn this hose off. Okay, and then what we want to do is we want to open the tailgate up. Right, okay. So we can see that it's been leaking in, um, but what we can also see is this line which is grooved into this top section is this rubber where it sits on so this is too far up so it's causing a gap between the rubber and this bit here and then it's then leaking in so that explains it and you can see on here where the water's coming over obviously the rubber um, and you can see on the top here this is where the water is obviously sitting that's where obviously it closes up and it catches on there 
from as far as I can see is catching here it doesn't seem to be catching up here but and then from here all the way across you can see where the rubber actually sits so that's creating itself a little gap for the water to fall in um, so that would be that one there um, we've currently tested the whole of the driver's side um, as well as doing the 28 point check and we can't get any water to come into the driver's side um, and just to show you as well obviously these are all cracked as well we have tested these we can't get any water through at the moment but what i have noticed is you've got a seal here which seals your roof to the car and as you can see it's not exactly that tight um, so obviously as you imagine if you're driving down the road wind could get up in here and then it could make a hole for the water to come through um, it's the same on both sides um, and I believe that's obviously where the straps are to hold the front and the front of the roof down this one's the same as well so it's not majorly um, but that could be maybe a fault and that the water's getting pushed into the roof and then work its way out um, but to me if that did happen it's going to come out directly on top of the driver's window or the b pillar um, so that's everything we've found so far um, we may have to do a couple of hours investigation um, to maybe do a couple more bits on that front side um, but I've also checked up here as well and I can't get any water dripping down onto the front like you originally said um, so that's everything we've found so found so far um, so there we go okay and just to quickly show you a tiny leak on the passenger door membrane um, so what we're going to do is we're going to pour some water down the back of the glass just simulating it's out in the rain um, So if we pour loads of water down that window ledge there And then if we come down the bottom it should be working out the door which it is doing um, But if we look very closely We've got a slight run mark coming out of here So it's not a major leak but there's a slight leak coming out of the passenger door membrane um, So what that would cause is it would cause it to sit on this rubber and then it would then work its way in obviously underneath this step as we can see we've got water inside that step there oh if i can just get a good focus so there we go so we've got water on the inside of that step um so that's the only things we've found so far okay so a quick video for you michael we've just started taking a few bits off so i'm just going to show you what we've found already um i've took off the tailgate um cover which is on the top which was obviously causing us the issue then i've shut it and tested it and it seems to now stop leaking um, so this is the part down here which has got the blind in um, so we can see obviously on the top where the rubber's been running across um, if we just come down and have a look on the inside um, these are the fixture points which go through um, this fixture point here looks like they had a bit of a trouble and it seems to have two in there and this little bit up here isn't actually going through the middle hole it's actually been put through the top um, so it looks like this hasn't actually been fitted correctly, so it might just be that one there But obviously if not we could always shave these bits off like you did mention But hopefully it doesn't come down to that. Hopefully we can get it in place And um, then coming over to the passenger door um, so we now removed the uh, door card um, Obviously we wasn't expecting these door membranes to be behind here. We was expecting a plastic sheet um, that's why we quoted two hours to do obviously both sides the only problem is to remove this panel we have to take the door lock out as well as take the window off of the runners and then we have to take the window mechanism out and then that will then allow us to release this plate uh, the problem is is obviously we've got to release this plate we've got to clean it all up we've got a zinc primer it and then what we're going to do is we're going to put our sealer on the inside here because uh, if, if I just quickly press here we can see that the water is obviously sitting in this point here um, so we've come to the decision should I say because it was only the passenger side was leaking we could either do both of the two hours on the passenger side to get this one all bonded back together so it doesn't leak and then we basically because we had no leak on the driver's side actual door membrane we could leave that one alone if not if we want to do them both exactly the same so they're both done properly we would have to add another two hours on for the other side just so we can do them properly um, so that was just the reason for making the video there because obviously we didn't expect these plates to be on there and they're a bit of a pain to do but we can do them um, so that's that one there hello michael right um 
this has started off with one thing and gone to another, but I apologise for that. But I can't give it back to you like that. So look, James has proven me wrong. This seat has come up like new. I mean, really like new. So it has made the other ones look not clean. Um, you can see there the difference in the driver's one. This was way back, way the worst one. And this stain in the middle of it is 99% gone. I'd say gone probably, but you know. Um, and then you look at the ones you're sleeping on and think, well, you know, look, there's the dirt that's coming out of it. That was all clean and empty before, so, you know, it just shows you how much dirt comes out of them. That's just come out of that passenger seat. There's even all the grit and that in the bottom. Is that pulled out of that actual yeah. seat? Yeah, this was all cleaned out before I started. Right, there you go. So, uh, if you want us to estimate for doing these, I, I think they don't feel clean either. I think, that, you know, it's probably something the missus wants to do. I, I think we can still get it within your two grand. Uh, you suggested on the email, bloody hell, you've done two grand. But give me a ring and then uh, I'll get James to work out what, what we can charge, just, just the seats, and we'll get the grubby bits off of that driver's foot. Well, the, the seats and the bed in the back is what I mean, you know, because... Um, it's going to take a few hours to clean these as well. I, you know, we did this. wasn't sure whether we we, put, we didn't put it on the estimate, and we're we're not charging you for this because you're spending some money with us already. And we wasn't sure whether we were going to get that big stain out. I didn't know what it was, but now it is out. Now we think you know we can do some more with it. So yeah, give us a ring, and I know it's another ring, but you don't want to get here and go, oh God, look, you know, we've done that now, and why didn't you do that, you know? So just for the sake of while we're here. Okie doke, all right, we'll speak to you soon. Okay, so we have the end video on the Volkswagen Transporter. Um, so we've resealed both door membranes. Um, also, we have took the top rubber off of the roof and we've cryotoxed it, cleaned it and resealed it back onto the roof because it kept on falling off. And the outside of the van looks absolutely lovely because it's been buffed up and it's had a matrix blue coating put on it which is a three year protective coating. Um, also as well, uh, we've cleaned the seats as well because this one had a, a really big bad stain on it so that's all cleaned up all nicely. Um, and just to quickly have a little look inside. Inside, obviously the back seat's been done as well and it's had a general tidy up inside for the customer. Um, so it's ready to go out into the raw environment now, nice and shiny, all waterproofed. Um, so there we go on that one. Another vehicle like new again. <laughs>